so much, Lauren. So now to one of the most beautiful places on our first coast, but boy, it can flood like crazy, and that's Black Creek, but maybe not a giant worry this time. You said it. We're hoping, right? We're all going to remain hopeful, folks. Uh, we're going to get out to Leah Shield. She's uh, driving around the city for us this morning. Right now, as uh, Jeannie just mentioned, she's in Black Creek in Middleburg. So what are you seeing there at this point, Leah? Hey, actually going to correct you real quick. We are in Baker County this morning because we wanted to try and catch the storm as it came in, but I'll show you right now. We're just getting some drizzle. You might see some of the rain smeared on our window, but really it's mainly dry. It has been for the past, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes here in Baker County. We're approaching the downtown McClenny area, so that's about where we are right now driving around. If you are in McClenny, if you find yourself in need of sandbags this morning, 7 a.m., uh, the City Hall will be giving out sandbags again this morning as well. Trash pickup delayed here, of course, in Baker County. The main concern being the St. Mary's River, and that is in a river flood warning, according to our First Coast News weather app. So we are just, again, driving around. If you guys see any damage, if you see any trees down, anything like that, let us know because we have the ability to get there and bring you live coverage. But again, right now, we are really just seeing some drizzle here in Baker County as Elsa moves in towards us. Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side. Yeah, we know Leah's going to be out and about all She'll morning long check in different locations. <laughs> so we're going to uh, keep an eye on her and try to keep up with her. All right. Thanks for that, Leah.